Hey everybody, what is going on? It is DJ today. I wanted to go with you guys real quick with the new update for the PS4 that just came out, patch 4.50. Now they did do a bunch of changes. So real quickly, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the photos because I took photos of all of them. And uh, so here we go. So we got the main features of version 4.50 update. So if you didn't read them, this is what it basically is. So I'm gonna I'm not kind of skimmed through all of it. That way, I mean they're all up here, so you guys can read them yourselves. Or if you of course did the update, then you are gonna have a general idea. But now you can use a USB storage device to install or move applications from your PS4 system storage with a USB, uh, with some sort of USB device that they have listed below. And it also tells you the steps how to do it. You go to settings, you go to devices, USB storage devices, and then you, with the connected USB, you have to format it into like a, an X storage like type thing. You gotta have it like another storage. And it says you need an external hard disk drive, a USB 3.0 or later, and a 250 gigabyte minimum to an 8 terabyte maximum capacity. That's uh, that's, that's that's a lot for just a PlayStation. But uh, okay, so the quick menu is now more user friendly. Creating, joining, and other party features have been easier to access. I actually I haven't tried that yet. The quick start menu though was definitely a little different. The notifications. Now notifications guys are a bit weird. Um, the notifications they... I just I actually just had to click on it now just to make sure I wasn't crazy. So the notifications has been redesigned. They I think in my opinion the old version was so much better it was so much more neater and organized but all the notifications will now appear in a single list which sucks because if you're trying to find something from PlayStation specifically or find just an invitation specifically it, it you have to scroll through this big ginormous freaking list of a bunch of random crap <laughs> And it it sucks. Actually, I'm gonna show you guys that real quick. Being that we can do this, so up here we have notifications. We're gonna click on it, and now we have just a giant list of notifications, and we have to scroll through every single freaking thing just to find one thing that we want. And it's really crappy, and you can't you can't organize it to do whatever, and it sucks. I think personally that it sucks <laughs> um, but apparently to them that just makes everything nicer for some weird freaking reason but I think it's horrible um, let me guys let you, you guys let me know how you like it because as of right now I think it is absolutely horrible uh, okay so the next one is when using remote play on the Windows PC Mac or Zebra. I don't even know how the hell to say that. That's just that's weird. Um, the smartphone or the other tablet. You can now use your device's microphone for voice chat in games or in parties. I have not tried that, but that is pretty freaking crazy. Uh, they did do an update, by the way, on these smartphones, such as like the iPhone, which I have, and I actually will talk to you guys what they changed on there as well once we get to it. So the next one up is you can now use screenshots that you have saved in your like your either your photos or if you have a a photo on your computer or something that you want to bring over and use as a theme you can now do that. They finally are allowing us to do that being that we were able to do it on PS3 and now we can do it. So how do you do it? You go to your settings, you go to themes, you select a theme and then you click on custom. It'll bring you to your photos and it, you click on a photo and then you can kind of corp it and everything that you want to do to it and that's actually how I have this theme in the background right now you can sort of kind of see it uh, but yeah that's that's what that is now we're gonna continue what do we got next you can now post screenshots directly to activities such as those shown in what's new press the share button select screenshot and then select activities as the upload destination now 
I would just like to say that's actually a lot easier than they're making it sound because really all you need to do is go down to what's new and then click on this uh, to see what you're up to and then you can add a screenshot tag a game or tag player so it's not you don't you don't have to go through that whole weird freaking process of holding down the share button you just got to go down there and click on it so that oh that's Diablo let's not click on that one but so that is that makes that easier okay so the next one you can now post animated gifs to activities and social applications I have not tried this but that seems very weird I don't, I don't know how that's gonna work out uh, but I am interested to find out um, I will have a lot of fun with that especially on my phone if if that works because that's just crazy uh, but okay so your status is now visible as a mobile when you sign in the application such as the PlayStation app which is for iPhone Android and all them fun things even when you're away from your PS4 system this means you are available to communicate with friends I don't know why they used available you should have just put able but that's what another story um, but that is that now on to the next thing you can now make your party public or private even after the party has been created basically you just go to party party settings party privacy and there it is so now when you create a private party and you want to open it for some reason you can now open it I have not tried it but it seems really freaking cool it's about time so um, now the PlayStation VR now supports blu-ray 3d content that seems that that seems like it's gonna be ridiculous that's wow okay I don't even have words for that right now okay so other features in version 4.50 your PS4 system you use to sign in to the PlayStation Network for the first time is now automatically activated as your primary PS4 system. If you don't know what's important about that, really, the, only, the main purpose is so that with the main system you can use all the games and everything that you get from the store and you can use it on that system for that account. Uh, okay, so as a parent or guardian, you can now easily create sub-accounts for your children when creating your master account. That seems very useful, especially if you have a bunch of kids that like to play games on your system. You can always just give them a sub account to use when they're there so they don't destroy everything. Um, okay, so you can now upload or download saved data right from the home screen. All you have to do is press the options button and then select upload, download, save data, which interestingly enough, I did do earlier. As you can see, um, Interestingly enough though, I don't think it's the um, the options button because that does not seem to work. Um, <laughs> I don't see how that works really at all to be honest. But there was something that I did and I don't even remember what I did. I think I clicked on this. No, I clicked on something. There, no, one of those. Either way, it didn't seem to work and it only works you have to like there's certain areas that it actually works so I'm not even really too concerned about that uh, I believe you do have to actually hover over a game and do that but that's another story okay so you now have the option to share screenshots on PlayStation Network when sharing you can also adjust privacy settings I think I, I don't know how they're really talking about that I think they're talking about the what's new thing I'm not really a hundred percent sure but a little more into that later on now there was indeed a share factory update right after the system update so if you guys haven't done that yet you might want to go do that or if it already done it already you just didn't tell you make sure it is because it is in this update that you do need it so you can now launch share factory right from the capture gallery so when you open up your photos you just click on options while viewing your photo library and then edit in Share Factory. It's pretty simple. Uh, you can now change the color of your profile screen to match the color image. However, they only have limited colors that you can do for your cover image. It's it's weird um, how they did it, but I made mine red just because. But they only have select few colors that you can choose from. Um, but when reporting inappropriate content, you can now preview your report before sending. That's uh, pretty helpful. Uh, not a ginormous thing, though. I mean, I don't see a lot of people reporting people around here. Um, 
design of the PS4 remote play for this Xperia thing um, has been updated. Uh, when you receive a party invitation, you can now respond from PlayStation messages with a quick reply. So if you know if you can't join right away, just give them a quick reply and be like, hey, guy, I'll be there later. Leave me alone. Uh, your profile screen cover image on the PS4 system is now displayed in the PlayStation Messages app on the iPhones or Androids, whatever it is you got it. Uh, cinematic mode image quality on PlayStation VR has been improved. Those, those right there, guys, are like the main things that I have noticed. However, there's one thing that wasn't mentioned that I would like to show you guys real quick. And that is when you go and find people who are offline, it'll tell you on the side what they were online with. So for example, everyone here was on the PS4. Now there are a few people, it'll tell you like for example, up here you got a PS Vita. It, it'll tell you whether or not they were online on a PS4, a PS3, the PlayStation app. It'll, it'll tell you. It, no matter how long they've been offline, it'll tell you regardless. So it's uh, it's another interesting thing that they added in. Now another thing that they added in, it's very, it's not really needed, but I guess it kind of works out a little bit. So you can see here when you click on storage, it starts calculating and gives you this weird look um, to it, and it, that's really it. I mean, then it, the other screen is just regular, but. That's a, it's just another little thing that they added in. Um, but yeah, guys, so that is kind of the most of it right now in terms of the PS4 as the update. Now, there was stuff added for the PlayStation app, and I'm about to actually read you guys through that right now, being that I took a screenshot of that too, just to show you. So you can now respond with a quick reply when you receive a party invitation so they added that in the messages of course a mobile icon is now displayed to indicate friends who use the PlayStation app or PlayStation messages app but are currently not online so I think that's more like a spy type thing if you're trying to find a friend and you know that they're not online you can just go on messages and be like hey I see you um, but that's kind of weird I guess um, Cover images are now displayed on player detail screens, like they, like we mentioned earlier. You can now rotate the images you attach, which is also, eh, that's pretty cool. You can kind of do weird things with them now. You can now check the status of PlayStation Network services by going to Settings, View Status of PSN Services. This is on the PlayStation app. I would just like to point that out to you guys. And you can now check whether this app has updated to the latest version by going to the settings about PlayStation messages and then more stability issues so that is the update for the iPhone in terms of the PlayStation apps and things like that and all that fun stuff so yeah guys so that is the full update report slash information that we have right now and that PlayStation has given us for update 4.50 let me guys just let me know what you what else you find that was really weird and then I will try to conclude it in another video Maybe I'll do a part two to this just to show people all the different things that did actually happen But yeah guys, thank you for watching and until next time guys peace out